What's up guys, it's Trey back again here bringing another video. So this one's going to be talking about uh, Fedor's next fight. It's going to be a New Year's Eve in a few weeks. Um, he's going to be fighting for the uh, the Dream Promotion, um, co-promoted with M1 Global, you know, because M1 obviously wants their cut of, uh, of whatever this is going to make. And he's going to be fighting um, Ishii in Japan. So this guy is 4-1-1. Um, one one. He's um, a men's judo two-time gold medalist and uh, silver medalist um, in judo. He's, you know, relatively inexperienced in MMA with only six fights. His most notable opponent was Jerome LeBanner, who he did beat by decision, uh, basically just by taking him down. Uh, you know, obviously, everybody pretty much knows, you know, when it comes to takedowns, judo is pretty good. It's pretty useful. I mean, it's probably not as useful as, as pure wrestling is, but um, judo is it, it's good for takedowns. You know, they've got a lot of uh, some good sweeps and trips and uh, you know some throws and stuff like that that can be used in MMA so he was able to take Jerome LeBanner down and keep him down there pretty much the entire fight uh, how's he gonna do against Fedor I don't know I mean Fedor at this point has got you know uh, he's getting close to almost 40 fights now I mean he's at like what like 30 30 some of the fights 33 34 35 fights something like that I've lost count at this point but um, you know he, he's one of the most notable and respected uh, mixed martial artists of all time he's got tons of experience uh, everybody knows Fedor, you know. Um, definitely, if you're going to make a top five list of the best ever, Fedor's got to either be number one, number two, number three. He's got to be up there. There's no question about it. So, really, should he be facing a guy like Ishii, who's in his, uh, you know, seventh mixed martial arts bout, even if he's a gold medalist in judo? I don't think so. I, I really don't see, um, like, this match just, you know, I, I don't know. Fedor, um, you really should be fighting guys like this, in my opinion. You know, um, if you want to call them cans, I guess you can call them cans, because, uh, you know, I mean, if you only have seven fights in MMA um, and your most notable win is against Jerome LeBanner, then, you know, and he's not even really, Jerome LeBanner is, is uh, you know, he's a kickboxer. He's not really, you know, he's a K-1 fighter. He's not really an MMA fighter, not really. You know, like he, he just, he's a straight-up kickboxer. So he basically just, you know, took him down the whole fight and just kept him there. So will he be able to do that to Fedor? I mean, Fedor is a more well-rounded uh, mixed martial artist and, uh you know, I'm going to do a prediction. I mean, you got to go with Fedor on this fight no matter what. I mean, no matter, you know, what kind of shape Fedor is in, no matter, you know, how hard he's training or whatever, there's no way a guy like this should be able to beat Fedor ever. You know, I don't care if Fedor's been retired for five years and is out of shape and just, you know, walks into an event. He should be able to beat a guy like this, no question. I mean, the guy's only got, like, you know, seven fights. And, uh, you know, like, there are some other fighters that don't have many fights. Like, for example, Brock Lesnar, who's, who's at the top of the top, and he didn't have that many fights. But he beat some really good guys. You know, he beat Frank Mir, he beat Randy Couture. You know, if you start beating guys like that, okay. Like, if Ishii came in and he beat Randy Couture and he beat, you know, these other guys at the, at the UFC, then I would say, okay, yeah, let's let's do it for sure. You know, that's a good fight for Fedor. But but this matchup, for me, is just like, I don't know. I just I just, I just don't like this matchup. Anyway, I always like uh, watching Fedor fight. There's no question about it. And I'm glad he continues to um, compete even if it's against guys who are relative cans. I mean, really, Ishii is, I'm sorry to say, he's a can, basically. Um, you know, judo in, its, in and of itself, we don't even really see that much in uh, MMA at all, you know. I mean, because wrestling is, uh, you know, is a more pure art when it comes to just taking guys down. Judo is, um, you know, there's a lot to do with the, the clothes and, you know, with their gi and everything. And, uh, you know, a lot of the moves have to do with that. And, you know, it just doesn't translate as well to MMA as wrestling does. There's no question about that. But, you know, there are some okay judo guys like Sokaju. Um, I can't really think of too many others, actually. Maybe just him. There was that guy in Pride who was uh, fought, fought uh, Vanderlei a couple times. I forget what his name was. He did pretty decent against him, and he was a judo guy, so, I mean, I guess he can do okay against Fedor, but um, he, he has also fought at uh, 205, so, at light heavyweight, so, you know, I mean, this guy's not very big, he does seem like an opponent that was probably handpicked for Fedor just to beat on New Year's, so, I'll definitely watch this and, uh, you know, and see see how it goes and everything at um, Dream, but, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really that excited about it, because, you know, when you look at a guy like this, he's really just a can, somebody for Fedor that he should beat. Um, there's been some talk in the forums and stuff, people talking about uh, if Fedor beats Ishii, then, uh, you know, he'll he'll probably sign with the UFC and stuff like that. So I'm like, I, I really truly believe at this point in time, Fedor will never sign with the UFC. After Fedor lost to, to Dan Henderson, that was it. I mean, you lose to, to Bigfoot, okay, fine. You know, that's, Bigfoot's a huge guy. And if he gets anybody down, you know, he can pound him out. There's no question about it. There's no... 
there's no you know mystique lost in in losing to Bigfoot in my opinion, but losing to a middleweight when you're heavyweight like that, even if he is Dan Henderson, um, I can't see him ever going to the UFC. So anyway, I'm picking uh, Fedor to beat Ishii. I mean, he should. You know, I think Ishii's pretty much hand picked for him. Um, it should be an interesting fight, and sh it'll be nice to see Fedor kick some ass again. Uh, it was nice to see him kick some ass against Jeff Munson, and I expect he'll do the same here. The only thing he's got to make sure he doesn't do is get taken down round after round after round and just lay on his back, because that would suck if that happened. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Let's all cross our fingers. Anyway, uh, it'll be a good New Year's Eve, and uh, you guys have a good one. Later.